Hello, I'm here today with Dr Lawrence Butman, Chairman of the British Medical Association's General Practitioners Committee, to discuss the first day of the local medical committee conference in London. That's the LMC conference, which is a gathering of GPs from across the country to come together to discuss the challenges and issues that have faced GPs in the last 12 months, and also to have a look ahead to the future and what might be ahead in the next year. Um, Dr Butman, it's been a challenging year for GPs and also for the BMA in general practice. How is that reflected in the mood of the conference today? I think conference are quite buoyant about the fact that we're standing up for GPs mm -hmm. and they're sad that it's come to this that we've now got such a low level of trust in government that which there seems to be no other way other than to stand up to government. It would have been nice to be constructive and cooperative with government yet we're constantly painted as the enemies of government rather than as people with whom they ought to be engaging and doing business. We want to do business with the government, why won't they do business with us? Mm. And one of the, the big things that's happened in the last few weeks is when the BMA support your surgery campaign. Can you tell us a little bit about that and, and what actually happened today as well at Downing Street? Yes, yeah, so over 1.2 million patients uh, sent in uh, their signatures for the petition both signatures in the surgery, on coupons that they could cut out of adverts in the newspapers, and online, uh, and many of course did so online. And um, we presented that petition to uh, Downing Street today, mm. and we, uh, we took it along and there's the usual photo call in front of the door, um, but actually what's important is what we said both at the conference and beforehand, and the governments have um, heard what we've had to say and are not very happy that we've said it, but of course uh, truth hurts and they don't like the truth and the truth is that what the government are doing to our bit of the health service we believe is damaging it. And now the petition's been handed in, what are the next steps for the campaign in the coming months? I'd like to tell you that Gordon Brown will phone me tomorrow morning and invite me to Downing Street to explain what we're bothered about but I don't really think that's going to happen. So what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks and months is explaining to our patients and the public what is going on with their health service and in particular what the government's trying to do to us and to the services we offer. We're particularly concerned about polyclinics, not polyclinics where they're needed, which we don't really object to very much, but polyclinics being plonked in every PCT in England, something we don't like and don't agree with. And we don't agree with it because we think it'll damage patient care. So what we will be doing is saying the government's health policy is going to damage patient care and here's how. And just returning to the, the overall conference, um, what can GPs do if they want to get more involved in protecting general practice for future generations? You can do several things. You can take on more GPs, you can take on younger doctors as partners or permanent members of staff, and you can also get involved with your local medical committee. Because if you want to be where the action is, particularly if you want to be part of the decision-making process and the representative machinery, then what you've got to do is be there when those decisions are made. And by standing up for your colleagues and your patients, you're actually doing something to improve the way the health service works. You're also protecting all your local colleagues from what your local primary care trust might be doing. And if you're in one of the Celtic countries, you can be encouraging your primary care organisation not to go the way of the English. If you want to find out any more details about any of the topics we've discussed in this interview, you can find it on the BMA website at www.bma.org.uk or alternatively on the Support Your Surgery web website, which is www.supportyoursurgery.org.uk. Thank you very much for joining us.